The history of CDI bracing actually starts way back in 1983. Jim Castile was a guy who was an engineer. He had a big crash um, and, and tore his knee up and he wanted to snow ski, he wanted to uh, snowboard, he wanted to ride his motorcycle. So he designed the first CDI custom brace called the CDI Classic. That started in 83, titanium hinge, carbon fiber construction. No one was doing this at the stage. There was no custom bracing in the world at all. So he started with the model over here and this particular model is probably the fourth gen. That's an 89 model right here, but it has different condor pads. It had air-filled pneumatic condor pads. It was quite advanced for its time. This even has an ACL cable, so it puts pressure on the tibial tuberosity and holds the tibia back when the tibia moves back and forth when you lose your ACL. So for its time in 89, that was very, very well designed. Then they moved up to the CDI-2, which was from about 91, and this carried right through the 90s, this particular brace. Uh, still a new hinge, an uh, AccuTrack hinge, which tracked the knee condylar movement a little bit better, and that particular hinge was really nice as the way the knee moves through its motion. So that hinge stayed on right till today. It's been an awesome hinge that wears really, really well. They moved into the 2000, into the, the newer model CDI Custom, and that's the new, brand new version two patella cup, uh, where the version one patella cup is this old one over here. But the, this particular brace went through for the 2000 to 2011, 2010, then they changed construction. Instead of hand laminating the CDI Custom braces, they did a pre-preg design, which was stronger like a Formula One sort of chassis, for instance. Much stronger, and that since 11, that's how they've been, and they're much, much stronger. They don't give nearly as many troubles, although back in the day, you're still gonna hit them really hard or strain your leg really hard to delaminate the brace. So that's basically the history of the custom bracing. Then moving into the off-the-shelf bracing, so you've got the small, medium, large, extra large. The MVP was the first brace being the most valuable player that they talk about in America, MVP, but they made the brace called the MVP. And this was quite adjustable. There was adjustments under here on the, the tibial cuff, the, the turrets either side, upper and lower turret. I'll just rip this off really quickly to show you. We're all very adjustable. We could slide this back and forth to adjust a different size quadricep. The brace though was a little bit bulky. Then he, then he moved from the MVP up to the CDI off the shelf, the OTS. And the OTS has gone through different models over the years. And since about 07, they moved to the pre-preg design as well. So they're very strong these days as well. But this is a, uh, an OTS that I just received back. I've got new, brand new models actually. They're, they're out, uh, just uh, no stock just at the moment. But this one's Ron Draper's brace. It's a 2014 brace. It hasn't really worn too much at all, but I'm looking at it, maybe replacing the straps, checking the cuffs, things like that. But you can see the older model patella cup had a gap above the kneecap a little bit when the brace went through flexion and extension. You're a bit exposed just here on top of the patella or the kneecap. And nowadays the bracing is a little bit newer with the new model patella cup. So as you go into flexion, the patella cup supports the top of the kneecap and the top of the thigh there and leaves very little gap for the handlebar to get into with the, you know, the front brake, the master cylinder there, the clutch, you know, all the different areas there that can hit if your leg's not correctly underneath the, the uh, handlebar as you go through a corner. So there's a bit of the overall history from 83, or well that's an 89 brace, right through to more today's braces. But along the way, there's been extreme history with CDI bracing. And here's just some names from the past. Of course, one of the most famous names here is James Stewart from America. James wore CDI all of his career. Mike LaRocco, another American, is his brace right here. Uh, beside LaRocco's brace is, is, is uh, Toby Price's uh, replica. It's actually not one of his braces, it's a replica of it. And then we've got Michael Byrne, who's in America training people at the moment, Jay Marmont, um, who won so many Australian championships and, and 500 to 450 titles. Rest in peace, Andrew McFarlane wore CDIs all of his career too, as one of his samples in the custom Australia flag. 
and Jason Crump, who is a three times world speedway champion, is actually in England at the moment racing over there. And uh, Jason wore braces all his life as well, but there are only a few. There's so many people around the world have won set one with CDI on and worn CDI comfortably over the years because they know that CDI is a custom brace and it's really, really hard to get an off the shelf brace to fit as well as a custom brace. So that's why if you have the money and you want to step to the best and have the most support because of prior injury or you don't want to get injured, well then it's really, really hard to beat that customized CTI brace.